James, why are you so silent? Nothing at all, it's just I don't have anything to talk about. See James, I'm your wife, your better half. I know there is something in your mind, which you are not sharing with me, come on tell me please. Is anyone said something to you at my aunt's place? It's nothing like that honey. No one said anything to me. By the way you are looking so pretty today. Thank you so much my dear hubby. So, we reached home honey. Hey James listen. Yes Ella? Next week is our ninth wedding anniversary, what is the plan for that? You tell honey. We will do the same as you say, we'll go out for the celebrations. Okay done. I'm going for freshen up myself, please make a cup of tea for me. Okay I'm going to make tea for you, go and fresh up yourself. And yes in the evening we will go for some grocery shopping, because only on Sunday you are free to go with me. Okay fine, we'll go in the evening. Oh yes James, I forget to tell you. Today's morning mom called me, she was telling me next month my younger sister is getting married, so she asked to, to tell you this, and we have to start the preparations now. We have a short time. Wow. That's so great, and yes we will enjoy your sister's marriage. Listen James, I will do your shopping all by myself this time. Okay. Okay then my dear wife. We will do as you say honey. Well, you have some rest now, I am going to meet my friend. Today is Sunday, so he must be home today. Alright. Come back soon. Okay, bye. I'll be home soon don't worry. Hey listen. Yes, tell me. You are forgetting something. You hug me always before you go outside James. Oh sorry, I forget that honey. Come on hug me babe. Love you, now you can go. Bye. Bye. Good, you are here James. I was thinking about you. I was getting bored at home. Have a seat, and let me grab some coffee for you and me. Why your mood is down and low today dude? Leave it. Tell me this when are the exams of your students at school, Mr. Teacher? You leave my students, school and their exams. First tell me about your spoiled mood again. What happened? You know everything already. Then why you make me repeat again and again? Oh my goodness. I told you this many times, but why you get all this on your nerves huh? Why you become so complexive? Dude. I'm so sick of this hooting thing all the time. Now, what happened today? Today, we visited Ella's aunt. There, her cousins makes the real fun of me. I am so fed up from all of this. Don't you can answer them huh? Don't you have a mind or tongue to say a word to them in your own favor? It's not my fault that, I married to Ella, she is so pretty. It's our arranged marriage all in all. Our parents tie up or are not together. Wait a minute here. Oh don't fool me. I know this. Ellis was so much interested in you, likes you from our school days. Three of us were in the same class, she was totally be nuts on you James. So please, don't call it arranged marriage all in all. See Alex. I never thought of this. To get married with Ella, look at her man, she is damn beautiful and gorgeous girl I have ever seen in my life, I think she don't deserve a man like me, who is below average in looks and personality. She is so pretty and have killer looks. James, how you can even think of this, see until you will not erase all these complexive things from your mind. You cannot be happy. And can't enjoy your life with Ella. She loves you a lot. Buddy what are you talking about huh? Is I am complexive? No it's not like this. It's just you know, whenever and wherever we go together. Everybody notices her. From top to bottom. Wants to talk with her. Wants to have some contact with her. Whether it's a local market grocery store, shopping malls or even a food point. 
I can't take this on me, anyhow, I know she is a beautiful woman, but when anybody gets to know this, I am her husband, they started making fun of me, our couple. It's so hurting, you don't have any idea of this. Well, did you took Ella to the doctor, for checkup? Yes I took her to the doctor, last week. Then, what the doctor said to you? What the doctor will say, you know that already. Same like before. She can't be a mother. Oh. What can I say more to you? I was of thought. She may get pregnant, you both will have a baby. Then your mind will be diverted to your baby. And yes Ella will also get some mommy kinda looks. Because, after having a baby a woman get shaped somehow. Well now what can be done? It's all God's will. Yes you are right. I also prayed a lot for baby and tired a lot too. But in vain always. Leave this sadness now please. And tell me what should I cook for you. I am a chef as well. Nothing. I'm so full already. I have to go now, cause I have to go with Ella, to buy some of groceries of the house. Okay as you wish dude. And stop being an overthinker. Enjoy your life. And if there is anything bothering you, anytime you can just tell me, don't burdenize yourself. I am here for you always. I am your best friend and your brother as well. Don't hide anything from me at all. Yes I know this, you are the only one, with whom I share each and everything. Thank you boss. I gotta go now. Bye. Bye, take care. I was thinking to buy some of your new shirts for the office James, after grocery shopping. Alright honey. As you say, I just has to fulfill your order. I am all yours baby. Now let's go, otherwise we will be late, today is weekend. There must be so crowd out there. Okay let move then. James, you please go and take 2 kilograms fish, while I'll get some eatables from the rack. Okay boss. See that girl man, just look at her, damn she is so hot. Just like a bomb. Yes dude, she is so hot. A hot cake. Is she alone or have someone with her? I think she is all alone. James, you took the fish. Yes, I have gave the order. They're preparing it. Hey look at there. That goofy and beastie man, I think she is with him? <laughs> he must be his driver dude. Because from his face he look like a mosquito. <laughs> yes. You are right he had a same like mosquito face. I am so hell tired. I am just serving the dinner you freshen up. Okay sure. I love you so much James. When you look into my eyes, I feel out of this world. Do you know, I feel so much proud of myself that I choose you as my partner. It feels like, I'm the most luckiest woman in this world, because, I have you in my life as my husband. I love you James, stay the same always. I love you too. Okay I am going to office. Take care of yourself. Okay you too, take care James and please bring popcorns. Tonight we will watch a movie. Okay sure. Why not? Hello James, how are you man? Did you get the invitation of coming office party? 
Yes, I got the invitation. I will try to come. James, don't forget to bring your wife along with you because it's a couple party. And your couple is our most favorite one, buddy. Sure. I will try my best to come. How are you all? Thank you for supporting us. And if you like our channel, please like, share, and subscribe Naja Cartoons. Thank you.